recovering Bilderberg, they actually went and demanded people be arrested. And they went in and got beaten up. And then when that happened, then, they, then, then the state police came in and then they had to back off and a bunch of helicopters took off and the globalists actually left. Uh, so it was a big deal. And then the Swiss suddenly said, get out, Bilderberg. We don't want you. Uh, you know, the Swiss, of course, are famous for doing that. Their country started that way. Uh, for people that don't know, uh, William Tell and the rest of it. But we need to get back to understanding that. Is he, bottom line, ask him about this. He said when enough people get there, he's going to try to march in and get the cattle, the 300 they're holding. I know 30 uh, were gotten out today by cowboys that went through the blockade. DrudgeReport.com is linked to that story right now. 20 cowboys break fed blockade in Nevada. Retrieve cattle. That's up on DrudgeReport.com if you want to see that in the video. Screen stills and uh, screenshots and the rest of it. A, a Don Salazar article is up there right now. Um, but uh, so, so bring that up to him. And, and, and bring up what the flashpoint could be here uh, because he's saying he'll do whatever he has to uh, to not be, uh, you know, have his grazing rights stolen uh, by these pirates. Okay. Alex wanted to get an update as to what the disposition of the cattle are. We've got a story that's up on Drudge right now about the cattle that were rescued this morning. Uh, are there any plans to try to, I know you're trying to locate the uh, cattle that have already been taken. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, the 300 headed cattle that have been taken off my ranch. We're not totally sure where they're at. They could be in the compound, but they could also be in Colorado. You know, it would seem strange that we could lose 300 headed cattle, but we we have right now lost 300 headed cattle, and we got a, we got a, airplanes in the air. We got uh, people out looking sheriffs across the country. Uh, we will find these cattle, and we'll hunt every one of them down if they're gone. And and that's something new that you've got somebody helping you with an airplane spotting to try to find where they've stored the cattle in this area if they're here. Yes, that's new this morning. Okay. And Alex wanted to ask, what do you think is, is uh, going to happen? What would be a flashpoint? What are you willing to do with this? Or where does it go from here? How do you see this result? Well, I think we're, well, I know what we're, I'm going to do. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And uh, the public and the, the protesters here, I think they're ready to do whatever it takes too. So in other words, this thing's not going to get over tomorrow. We're going to fight until we win this, get our uh, public lands back and, uh, my cattle back, and we're going to ranch in and produce uh, good red meat for you. You know how good a steak tastes? That's what I produce. That's great. I w more power to you. Thank you. Any other questions, Alex? Does, uh, he's got to, yeah, he's got to go to another. Though I know that Steve Quill had a quick question for you, but Mr. Mr. Bundy's got to go in another interview. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank Best you. of luck to you, and thank you for standing up for our rights. Well, we're going to be following this story. We're going to head back to the... Uh, protesting area, see what's happening there. I know that some politicians are going to be making speeches. As Alex said, they need to be making the speeches to the Bureau of Land Management. They need to be making the speeches to these unelected regulators. Nobody out here, as the county commissioner that we talked to from Utah, he made a very good point. He said that nobody is electing these people. Their names are not on the ballot. The names of the people who are confiscating this cattle is not on the ballot. The names of the people who are directing them are not on the ballot. We have no control over these policies. Our congressional representatives are doing nothing. And these people are doing whatever they wish without any oversight, totally out of control. These bureaucracies have become regulating agencies that write their own laws, have their own police force, have their own judges and juries in most cases, and you are not presumed to be innocent. You're presumed to be guilty and you have to prove your innocence. If you've ever dealt with the IRS, you know this. If you've ever dealt with any of these agencies, the EPA, look at the fellow in Wyoming who's facing $75,000 a day fines because he put a pond, built a pond that's not interrupting any waterway, on his own property. And the EPA demanded that he remove Sure, that. they have a name. It's called serfdom, arresting people for gardens, arresting people for their own uh, off-the-grid power when it's even legal, uh, giant fines. I mean, it, it is just predatory. I was videotaping when I was over at my parents, uh, some uh, zoning people across the street. They now wear uniforms. And the guy literally bugged his eyes out and said, what are you filming me for? I said, I said it's America. And he kind of got mad and walked off. It's just like everyone bows down to them and a nation of sheep will be ruled by wolves. I mean, these are our servants. By the way, I plugged our affiliate wrong, one of our affiliates in Knoxville. We have WBCR, of course, uh, there outside Knoxville for like 15, 16 years. But we also uh, have 94.3 FM, uh, and that's WNFZ uh, is our great affiliate that carries us uh, six days a week 
uh, there, and, 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 and they're the ones that made uh, just that fantastic uh, V for Vendetta uh, promo uh, that you uh, heard earlier uh, that we were playing here on air, and they have some great talk show hosts over there that I intend to get on as guest hosts sometime. Really enjoy doing their morning show. Uh, we're going to break, and I appreciate um, we're going to skip this network break because we got Steve Quell with us, and I've had him on hold. Steve, I, I meant for you to be able to talk to uh, Bundy, but uh, he's gone now. Uh, but I mean, what is your statement on what you're you're sitting there listening to? Well, first of all, I would ask a question. I don't know this. Maybe you do, Alex. Is the sheriff subject to recall? Because if he's not subject to recall, then the city commissioners may either hire or appoint him. I would make sure that everybody in that county or that area does something immediately legal and obviously nonviolent is put a recall position out if it's legal or basically however the process is, I would assume that the commissioners are voted in, that they recall those. That's where the commissioners come in. The sheriff has all the power over the federal government. Thank God for Sheriff Mack and others. But I'm told this sheriff, whatever his name is, you probably know it, is doing nothing. And basically, here's the thing. They want this. I just got an email, Alex, from someone in the know said, make sure Alex knows that this thing is being run by the highest levels. Of course, we know that in the DHS. But here's the deal. They are checked. They are testing and testing and testing the resolve of the American people. And I want to finish one statement. This, this is what I said will bless you, Alex, because you're, you're in the position you need this statement. Mary Juarez, wonderful woman. She could cast out demons when grown men couldn't hold the demon possessed down. Said, remember Steve, and I share this, remember Alex, remember all you out there fighting the good fight. God always has a ram in the bush. That means no matter what you're called to do, he will give you the ability and the power to do it. So, Alex, as you and I are out there doing what we're doing, and others are doing out there with doing the, everybody that works for you, everybody that works for me, everybody that works for everybody that's sick and tired of us being nothing more than pregnant women targets, children with gun targets. When that happened, they displayed their total attempt for humanity. And I'm talking about the target. You broke the story. I picked it up after you broke it up, or you, after you put it up, and then I broke it with, you know, after you did. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen, this is not just to take away your rights. It's to ultimately take away your life. They have nothing but contempt. I'm talking about the Luciferians. And my prayer is for the law enforcement, for the people that get it, who understand it, for any Christians that still may be left in the BLM or whatever, uh, Montana State Patrol, excuse me, Nevada State Patrol, Highway Patrol, police departments, to get it, to get it, to get it. Your children have no future if they win in Nevada. This is a big deal, Alex. And, and the fact that they would put in snipers, that tells me this is a tactical it bounces off a Green Beret friend of mine. This is nothing more than a tactile. They, uh, they've already picked, and I, I'll tell you what they're called. They're called kill boxes, okay? So the fact that they put snipers in, that's telling you that they already are pushing for an armed confrontation. And I think it's disgusting, and I'm praying against it. But I also, I also absolutely, people, you have got to stand. I put up an article on my website with all the phone numbers. You have it too, Alex, the commissioners in that part, the sheriff, the BLM head and everything. Flood those phone calls. Do that if you can do nothing else. And you know, Absolutely. Obviously. Guys, print that off for me. Get them to post the phone yeah. numbers and stuff up at InfoWars.com. Uh, where do you have that posted on your it's site? Under, uh, Susan Duclos's article on... Uh, oh, quote, quote the Hispanic lady. We never got back to you that gave you the advice. Well, I, I, I did. I'm sorry. I was quoting her. You know, and, and she, was, she was an amazing powerhouse. Her name was, again, Mary Juarez. But she said this. She said, remember, God never calls you to do anything that he won't provide his solution. You may think it's in your strength and power, but the victory. I, Abraham, obviously, he thought he would have to sacrifice his son. God said, no, you're not going to sacrifice your son. You're going to sacrifice this ram that I had in the bush. And that was to prove to Abraham. Abraham proved faithful, but God said, that it will be done my way. That's why I don't make any apologies for, uh, you know, uh, the power of prayer, the power of the living God. And Alex, here's the deal. You've come, and I've come now to the point of, 
Evil is no longer definable by a political movement or even a mindset. It now has literal entities that hate human life so so much and with such contempt that they will do anything to destroy men, women, and children. Well, they kill, kill, I mean, kill, steal, and destroy is the devil's mission. And if it isn't a devil, what is it? Look at the fruits of the New World Order. It's death, disease, pain. It's disgusting. Going back to David Knight, David, what's coming next? I know you're going to have more live feeds today, more YouTube uploads, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. As this breaks, we saw the dramatic footage in the articles that Watson put up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com that Drudge has been carrying the last three days. If it wasn't for Drudge, this story wouldn't even be a nationwide story right now that, that Dinosaur Media is having to report on. But Dinosaur Media kill, still keeps going, well... This old man claims he's got grazing rights, but the feds, everybody knows they're God, you know, just playing on the public's ignorance about grazing rights. Uh, the public just is, just is so ignorant on this. Uh, you know, we need to see Rand Paul. We need to see Ted Cruz. We, we do see the Nevada senator going public, another senator making comments that this is wrong, that it's intimidation. But when you see the videos that are up on Infowars.com uh, of those... Uh, those BLM guys in their paramilitary outfits and their whole attitude of just wanting to attack people. Uh, I mean, these people are idiots. They don't understand the globalists want to play us off against each other. They don't understand they want to start a civil war. They don't understand we're all just expendable in this fight. And that what more does this criminal government have to do? Fund Al-Qaeda, spy on us, put fluoride in the water? sign us on to over a thousand trillion in fake derivatives i mean the government is run by criminals at the top they want a bunch of goons that'll follow orders these guys really think they're gonna have a civil war and kick our butts and what they're gonna get is absolutely blown to pieces and the globalists want that to get rid of this entire group of brown shirts to bring in their unss i mean they are so stupid that's right alex Mr. Bundy and the Bundy family has the resolve. They have the backbone. The question is, do the politicians have any backbones? Are the law enforcement officers going to stand behind their oath? Are the American people going to quietly go into slavery and do nothing? These people that are here understand the issue. The people that we met with out here at the protest area, they understand the, mission, the issue. They're going to stand with resolve. And the question is, what are the rest of the people going to do? This is a test for everybody. And describe where the town is, where the county is for folks that want to drive there. This is a little south of uh, Mesquite. And uh, if you go uh, south, south of Mesquite on Interstate 15, and if you go, uh, what is it, Josh? It's about, uh, it's exit 212? 112. Exit 112. Uh, if you get off and uh, you head toward uh, Mesquite, once you get off of 112, there's a sign that says to Mesquite or to Vegas, I think. And, and if you head towards Mesquite, you'll see the First Amendment area that they've marked off and somebody put their own sign on it and said the First Amendment is not an area. So you'll see that. You'll know you're on the right track. And then if you just keep driving down that Imagine, road. Imagine they're just announcing the county has no free speech. Yeah. I mean, exactly. These people are just despicable. Well, we've seen this happen at the political conventions. And, of course, our politicians had nothing to say about that. Democrat or Republican. This has been happening at the last several political conventions for both parties where they take all protesters exercising their specifically protected First Amendment rights to petition their leaders or and to speak out and peacefully assemble. They stick them way out in the middle of nowhere and that's where these designated areas are. There is absolutely not a soul or even a desert tortoise. Well, you're a slave. In I mean, in America, you don't walk down the side of a state highway instead of federal royalty, federal gods. CBN. Michelle Obama tells your kids what this to eat in school and the 2 plus 2 equals 5. Overdrive coming up. Five more minutes with these guys. Stay with us. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply. 
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network.